Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'm going to be presenting Dominic Prunet's course on celestial navigation. Welcome to episode number five of Celestial Navigation, a course developed by Dominique Prunet. Uh, you can find Dominique's books at marinenavigationbooks.com, where to order them, and get other resources, including this slide deck. Today's episode is the principles of celestial navigation. For every hour of the year, the nautical almanac will give you the longitude and latitude of your main celestial bodies you'll be concerned with in celestial navigation. That would be the Sun, the Moon, uh, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the stars. And these coordinates uh, on the celestial sphere are essentially the same as the coordinates of the points on the Earth above which the celestial objects you're sighting with your sextant are directly overhead. These points on the Earth are the geographic positions or GPs of the celestial objects. These objects' positions in the celestial sphere as determined uh, by the precise time of your sight uh, are easily calculated using the nautical almanac. Once you know the coordinates of the GPs, the location of the points on Earth above which the celestial objects are, as we just explained, uh, determines a circle of position uh, from which these celestial objects can be seen at the angle that's measured with the sextant. Let me turn my pointer on here. So here we have the Earth, and you have the Sun as uh, GP is, let's say, here directly overhead somewhere on the Earth. And then your boat is somewhere else. Depending on how far away you are from the GP, the angle you measure with your sextant will either be larger as you get closer to the sun's GP or whatever object you're sighting with your sextant, or further away, the angle will get smaller. And that is the uh, basic principle of how you know where you are on the earth to get your circle of position by that, whether you have a small angle or a large angle. Let's get into the details of that actually. So here you have, again, our uh, blowing up, sort of zooming in to that uh, previous slide. You have the sun's uh, rays coming in. Now, because the sun is so far away, we assume that these rays are parallel to each other as they hit the Earth. And at the sun's GP, the uh, parallel ray that comes in from the sun goes directly through that GP, directly to the center of the Earth. Where we are with our boat, that same parallel uh, ray from the sun comes and hits us at the boat, but at an angle. It won't be directly over our head, unless we happen to be at the GP. And that angle we measure with our sextant we call the height, or the altitude. Associated with that is something we call the zenith angle, which is 90 minus that height, or that altitude. And it turns out that that angle, that zenith angle from the zenith to where the sun is, or whatever body you're measuring, is the exact same angle as this angle at the center of the Earth between that GP and the location of your boat. That's important because if you remember, we said that this angle tells you how far away you are here. One minute of angle is one nautical mile. 60 degrees, one, I'm sorry, one degree of angle is 60 nautical miles. So once you know this angle from your zenith angle, you know how far away you are, and that tells you the radius of this circle of position. The height of that celestial body above the horizon will want to measure with a precision of one nautical mile, one minute of arc or better, which gives us one minute of one nautical mile uh, of precision in our position uh, of our boat. We use that sextant because it gives us that uh, type of precision to determine the circle of position around our GP. So how do we do this? So the longitude of the sun around the earth, it's GHA or Greenwich hour angle, is determined by the time that we take our sight. 
knowing that it crosses the Greenwich Meridian at approximately noon and appears to be turning around the Earth at the rate of 15 degrees an hour, determines the longitude of the uh, GP location, the Greenwich Hour Angle. And this you find in the Nautical Almanac. Same with the latitude of the GP of the Sun or other celestial body, called declination, and that is how far north or south it is of the equator. Again, shown in the Almanac. The zenith angle, as we said, is 90 minus your altitude that you measure with your sextant, and that translates into the radius of that circle of position around the GP. Once you have two or three sites and their circles of position around each GP where they cross is our position. Here's some examples. So we take a site of a star, a planet, and a moon. The almanac tells us where the GP of each of those bodies is located. Our sextant measures how far away we are from each of those bodies. That determines circles of positions around each body and where they cross is the position of our boat. If we take uh, two sites while our boat is stationary, um, say one is in the morning, one's in the afternoon, again the almanac tells us where the, where the sun is at each of those precise moments. Our sextant tells us how far away we are from the, those GPs. We can create circles of position then based on those distances from those GPs and where they cross is where we are. How do you know you're here or here? That's where your dead reckoning position will come in. Usually these positions are hundreds of miles away from each other. So as long as your dead reckoning position is, you know, pretty good, you know, you're not off by hundreds of miles, you'll know exactly which of those two intersecting points you're, you're located at. If your boat's moving, uh, you're not stationary, um, you can do what's called a running fixed, running fix by advancing the line of position where you measured your, the sun in the morning and where you currently are, say in the afternoon, where you take another site, you drag your uh, earlier line of position along with you, with you know, make believe you're towing it behind you, your boat, based on the distance and direction that you've traveled. You move that earlier line of position up to where, uh, to where you, uh, in the direction that you just traveled. You take where those two lines of position, the current line of position and the advanced line of position, and where they cross again is where you are. And using that same logic of your dead reckoning position, you'll know exactly whether it's this or this position. And that's all there is really to celestial navigation. Everything is details after this. And we are gonna get into the details and they are important. Um, in fact, in our next episode, we're going to work a very simple example um, using the Nautical Almanac to determine GPs and we'll uh, uh, we'll specify some sextant sites uh, based on those GPs, and we'll see if we can figure out where we are taking those, those sites from. So I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully you are too. Thank you very much.